small streams, big trout, one of the best ways to target them is spoon fishing. Spoons have actually, for me, replaced spinners as my absolute favorite um, gear fishing technique for trout. And the beauty of them is with a spoon, you got a little bit more lift than a spinner. A spinner, that blade's gonna turn, and it's awesome, but you usually gotta keep reeling the whole time in a small stream because it's gonna want to sink a little more. A spoon, it has some upward motion, and you can fish it nice and slow where you're not even reeling. You know, I could be casting out in shallow, I cast out in shallow water like that. Basically just hold the rod like this and just kind of swing it through. And as you, I'm barely reeling and that thing hasn't hit bottom. Um, it didn't, uh, it didn't snag bottom. And that was like one and a half foot of water. So with that spoon, it'll just kind of flutter through the, the shallow spots and then it just glints and the fish see it. They love it. Um, I tend to go with something that is kind of natural and looks like a, a little fish. I like, this is a quarter round spoon by Al's Goldfish. Um, there's a bunch of great ones out on the market, but I definitely go for something that easily, um, easily puts off flash and not only that, has that lift so that it doesn't just dive for the rocks right away. So spoons, um, not only in small streams and rivers, um, also lakes. If, uh, if the fish are anywhere near the surface and you can uh, reel it in and get it to them, that's big. As far as sizes, my favorites are 3 16th ounce and quarter ounce uh, in creeks. Um, and then in rivers, you can go up a little uh, bigger. And of course, for salmon and steelhead, half ounce, two thirds ounce, things like that. There's no question about that. But for trout, it's well worth doing. And another little side note is a lot of people tend to say summer steelhead don't eat spoons. But really what it is is they may not eat winter steelhead size spoons. Start to go a little more trout size, get a little bit smaller, third ounce, quarter ounce. And when you do that, you'd be surprised how much a summer steelhead will eat a spoon. And it's a nice way to target both trout and steelhead on the same stream. So I'm gonna be fishing this for a while today and see what we can get on it. Such a gorgeous wild rainbow. Or is it? Yeah. My absolute favorite way to catch trout uh, on a gear rod has got to be swinging spoons. It's a lot like steelhead fishing. Oh my goodness, this thing is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Would you take a look at that? Oh my goodness. Swinging spoons, neon blue. This spoon never fails, ever. Quarter ounce Al's goldfish. Whoop, 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 whoop. He wants to leave. I don't blame him. I've gotten to the point where I like fishing spoons more than spinners for trout and I never thought I'd do that. Wow, what a gorgeous fish. Got him on the spoon. I love spoon fishing so much because of fish like this. This fish absolutely destroyed that spoon. Oh my goodness. That's what it's all about. Oh my goodness, I love spoon fishing. Spoon fishing for trout, small streams. Um, one of the things that I would recommend is go with the more subtle colors. As you can see, this water is clear as it gets. Uh, and I like blues, and at least out here on the west coast, blues, greens, silvers, stuff that's a little more subtle and not clowny. This spoon, it's blue and silver, it's got a little red eye. They really seem to key in on that. I've got a couple other trout today on this spoon, but that was by far the nicest one. And uh, yeah, can't wait to do this again. A lot of fun, southwest Washington, upper river trout fishing, and I believe it's, late September, so throw them spoons. <laughs>